So yeah. you, you noticed that it was yeah. hard to treat people with vitamin D, but giving them a, a tablet didn't really do much. That's correct. Why? Well, this is what I believe is the, is, the, is the fact, is we saw that people with high levels of vitamin D or normal levels of vitamin D did better than those that had low levels. I believe that that was a marker of something else. In other words, people who had higher levels of vitamin D meant that they were out in the sun more. They were outside more than those the people that had very low vitamin D levels. The people with low vitamin D levels were telling me these are people that were not getting outside into the sun. And so what's the real factor here? What's doing the heavy lifting? And I would propose, and Scott Zimmerman and Russell Ryder would propose, and I, I can tell you a number of other scientists that would agree with me on this, is that infrared radiation from the sun is causing an effect at the mitochondrial level in terms of oxidative stress and that vitamin D was just the marker of who was getting the infrared light and who was not, who was going outside and who was not going outside. So when the sun is shining, for the most part, you're getting infrared light, you're getting the entire, the entire biological spectrum from the sun. We can go to the longest wavelength, which is far infrared, all the way to the shortest wavelength, which is ultraviolet B, okay, which makes vitamin D. So in other words, when you are outside in a natural environment, you're getting a very broad spectrum of light. And so because of that, if you're getting infrared light, you're also gonna be making vitamin D. Yeah. You're getting both.